Hello everyone, welcome back to another AI video. This one, we're at Deep Agent by Abacus AI, and they have cooked, guys. They ship something every week, sometimes twice a week, but here's the thing. They have made an update and an upgrade to their deep research, and now you can create documentation using their AI agent that absolutely crushes it, guys. It incorporates everything. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an AI PowerPoint, and it's going to have images that it created. It's going to have images it took off the internet. It's going to do data analysis. It's going to do data extraction. It can literally do anything a human can do. It kind of feels like AGI, and I know that's a big claim, but I'm about to back it up. Buckle up. Let's take a look. All right, here we go. So I'm logged into Deep Agent. As you can see up here, I have, of course, put a link in the description below for you to click on. And uh, let's take a quick look around here. Now, the first thing I want to show you before I show you the steps, and it's super easy to use, is that I just want to show you that here, as you can see here, as I sort of flip through this little lunar base PowerPoint presentation, this was all done inside Deep Agent. And here's the thing. Nothing else. We don't need any other software, and I don't know how many videos I've seen online where they say they can do something and then it can't actually do it. Well, this can do it. And up at the top here, you can download the files here, so it creates all these different files for you. PDFs, PowerPoint demonstrations, you can download it, use it. You can even get the code if you're really, really into that kind of thing. So there we go. Now, with all that said, let's go ahead and click on Deep Agent like I've done here. And now let's start from scratch and let's cook up our own PowerPoint presentation. All right, here we go. So we got Deep Agent opened up. We've got a blank page here. Let's get cooking. So the first step is in the prompt box, type in the prompt that you want. Basically, tell it exactly what kind of document or PowerPoint or whatever it is you're doing, research paper that you're looking for. In this case, we've got create a PowerPoint about a future space habitat with 10 slides. Now you can make this four slides, you can make this 20 slides, 100 slides, whatever you see fit. I want you to give an overview of the history, give some graphs depicting the statistics of the missions throughout our spacefaring history. So I want its past and also visualize any futuristic habitats. Try to come up with some of your own ideas on how a futuristic habitat may look like. So I am asking it to go and retrieve data and make sense of that data. I'm asking the AI agent or deep agent in this case to go ahead and come up with some ideas as to what future habitats might look like. We're putting this through to the test. Once you've got your prompt in there and you like what you got, hit the go button. Now, right now, it's going to go ahead and start thinking about this. Now, there is a intermediate step, and this isn't always the case. But you note here that I didn't give it a ton of detail. I left it pretty general. So it's going to ask me one or two. Ah, it asked me four clarifying questions. You know, it's better this way. You want to have a, uh, you know, a penny of prevention versus a pound of cure. So here we go. So it's gone ahead and says, what type of space habitat are you most interested in? So in this case, I'm going to say Mars colonies. You could type in, again, whatever you want. And then for the rest of the ones, what's your intended audience? What's your intended audience? Futuristic habitat concepts. I'm going to go, you choose. Now. If I was trying to go a little slower here, I would go ahead and type one of those things in. But hey, I'm giving the AI some latitude to make some decisions. Here we go. Now it's cooking, and you'll see just how easy this has been so far. I literally, it's just type in what you want and answer a question or two. It's doing some planning. I'm going to come back when it's done, and I'm going to show you step by step what it did, and it's going to knock your socks off. All right, welcome back. So let's see what we got here. So again, we said Mars colonies, and then you choose. So it did some thinking for us here. And then right up here at the top, we've got preview selected. Again, you can select code if that's your thing, but it's not really my thing, but it's there. Also click on files. You can download every single file that you see here. So if you have a presentation and they want a copy, get a copy. You don't have any trouble here. So there we go. Here's a quick look here. You could slide through it here on these numbers here, these the statistics. And uh, yeah, you know, oh, look at that. It's created its own graphs. Look at this. This is awesome. Insights, and we'll go into detail here, but you can see you can click through it as I'm doing here. This actually looks pretty damn nicely formatted, too. This isn't just some generic white <laughs> white PowerPoint presentation. It's got gradients. It's got colors. It's got boxes. It's got all of it. Click on Export PDF if you want to get an exported copy. If you want to export the PowerPoint presentation, click on that little button there. And presto, again, you can click on download all the files. Now, while I export those, let's look over here on the left side here. You can see here that it says searching complete list of Mars missions, successful failure statistics. These are the exact sites that it went to static.scientificamerican.com. 
nasa.gov these are not just random clickbait sites these are the real deal this ai agent deep agent knows where to go i don't know how it knows that but it knows that bbc statista really good stuff over there and there it's gone ahead and downloaded those files and you can click on the links like i just did there so that you can go ahead and see everything now let's keep going here you'll see here under web access you can click here it looked at this website it looked at that website it looked at this website you can go through entirely absolutely awesome it's gone ahead and did its research here and then it saved it as a file again you can download that file here and you'll see here mars colonies presentation habitats research it's got missions research you can download all those documents here so again go through them as you see fit you can also go again through all the websites then it says generating the mars habitat images so it created all the images you can go through every single image that it created here just click on it it opens it and if it doesn't find an image it will create one i mean guys i don't know what else to say except this is absolutely wild this is the real deal you can preview the presentation like i did there let's go into my download folder here it's a bit messy here but there we go presentation one dot pdf so let's open up the pdf version and there it is guys i mean we could just scroll through it here as i'm doing here these are professional professional presentations done with literally two clicks you type in what you want it asks you a question or two you say yes no or you choose and it does everything for you and if you are sure you can go into the powerpoint for example like this one and you'll notice here that all of these boxes all of the fonts all of the text it's all adjustable so it's kind of brought in as layers so it's not baked in like oh it made it or it doesn't make it you can change it if i don't like this image i can just delete them add my own images in absolutely top notch deep agent is the real deal abacus ai cooked i've got a link in the description below let me know what you think thanks for watching